This is Curry with LiveCodeConsulting.com and today I've got my serious face on because this video is all about the fight because we're gonna see which live code version is the leanest the meanest the coding machinist that's what I want to cover I'm going to take several versions of live code and pit them against each other running some code a bunch of code in order to see who has the best performance who has the best optimization now why do I want to do this because over the years using different versions of live code for myself and working with other people on their projects we use different versions of live code and we notice differences you know if a version is bigger to download if it runs faster or slower than another version then we know something's going on here and whatever you're coding in live code a lot of times I help people to optimize their code make it run as fast as it can and of course we're also looking at memory usage too now if you want to optimize your code it's running up here then it also makes a difference about the layer it's running on right which is live code so we've got the live code layer running underneath your code and actually running your code so how well it's optimized also matters so that's what we're doing we're looking at the performance of the live code engine over time is it getting better is it getting worse and I know there could be uh, different factors it's even possible maybe to get better and worse but overall how are we doing uh, the size of the downloads are they lean and mean or are they needing a diet and uh, as far as the performance especially how fast how tough are these things uh, so I'm going to be pitting two of the old school contenders older versions of live code against two of the very latest the very latest live code that could be downloaded at the time of this video and then we'll see which version of live code wins the fight uh, who's the lean mean coding machine because that'll be fun but it will also give us some useful information about what's going on with the engine in terms of size and performance so this is going to be like a live code fight night which version of live code is lean mean coding machine right so first, let's go to our favorite live code download page and just look at these versions. How fit are they? What kind of shape are they in? Just from uh, the size of the things, right? Are they fit? Are they overweight? <laughs> Could they stand to lose a little weight? Well, we'll see. It's always a trade-off, right? So, one of the fighters I've got lined up is this one, Live Code 9, DP4. The indie version for Windows. And I'm going to just click on there. Let's see the size of this thing. Okay. 300 megabytes for the download. That's, you know, when it's compressed. So, we've got 300 megabytes. For Live Code 9 BP4. Uh, another contender I'm going to have here is Live Code 812, indie version for Windows. Okay, just about the same thing. Uh, 300 megabytes 
kind of heavyweight, although uh, the Mac version would definitely be more. I'm on Windows here. Okay, and then the other two competitors in our fight night here for Live Code. By the way, it is morning, but I'm not going to let that stop me from the fight night thing because it's kind of fun, right? So, version. A little bit older version here. I think it was 676. Uh, just a nice version for bookmarking, for benchmarking, I mean. Uh, 676 commercial for Windows. Now that one, look at the download, weighed in at only 124 megabytes. So between 300 and 124, you can see this version's a little leaner. Uh, it could be considered more fit in that aspect. Because uh, once, once your downloads get really bloated, um, it takes up a lot of disk space and stuff. Uh, but we'll see how the performance, you know, how fast are they? If a, if a live code version is bigger but also faster, then I would feel like, okay, okay, maybe it has more going on. So we'll see. We'll see how it holds up in testing. But uh, as we see just from the size of the thing, this live code 676, um, as Will Smith said in a movie, you know, I am half the man you are. <laughs> so it's, it's uh, leaner there. And then the final contender here was Live Code 5.5. Um, let's see which version of 5.5. 5.5.2 happened to be the one I had installed. So 5.5.2 for Windows. Wow, now that guy downloads at 40 megabytes, 42.5. So we're talking uh, 42 megabytes versus 300. That's a big difference. That's almost, you know, what is that, a factor of eight or, you know, not quite 10, but it's, it's pretty significant. So the live code download size has really grown has really grown 5.5 uh, I don't see the release date handy here but version 6 was 2013 so yeah in four years it has grown some from 40 megabytes back here to 300 for the latest versions okay now that's the size of live code Let's see, we, we see how big they are, you know, but how do they perform? How fast are they? And for that, what I'm going to do is make a little code to pit these guys against each other. I'm going to make a new stack here in LabCode 5.5. And all we need for this we got a window and it doesn't need to be very big because it's only going to have one button. I'm going to drag in that button and I'm going to edit the script. Okay, and for this code it's going to be pretty simple. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to use the put command. I'm going to say put starting, something like that. And I'm going to explain why, because when you use put without using into or after or any other prepositions like that, then live code knows that we want to put it into the message box and since we're going to put the result of our calculations into the message box at the end 
I want to put something at the beginning just so that we know that, oh, we clicked on the button, it worked. Okay, we've started already. And now we're waiting for the result. So that's it. And then I'm going to put the long seconds, which just means the seconds as a real number with some decimals, so it's pretty accurate. The long seconds into s. I'm using s as a variable for seconds. And then I'm going to do a repeat because I'm going to have each version of live code repeat some calculations a bunch of times and we'll see how long it took that version of live code to complete all of those calculations. I'm going to choose a big number here. I'm going to go 999999. So that's about a million. For some reason I just like to do that better than one. Zero, zero, zero. It, it just looks better to me. So we've got repeat about a million. And then what I'm going to do for the calculation is I'm going to use put again. Put. In fact, what I'm going to do is make a repeat with. I'm going to say repeat with i equals 1, 2, almost a million. Then inside each of those repeat loops, I'm going to put i times a real number. How's that? I times 7.654321 and CR, which means I'm going to append a carriage return so each one will be on a line. I'm going to put that after T. Just using T as a simple variable name for text. So we're going to each repeat loop going through here, we're going to put whatever i is, it starts out at 1 and it gets pretty big, we're going to multiply i and we're going to put the result after our variable t on a separate line. Now as you can see that's that's a pretty much calculation going on there because you're going through the loop a million times so your calculation is going to get about up to the number will be about 7 million the number of lines in, in T will be about 1 million and you know the number of characters will also be uh, in the millions so we'll have T containing once we're done it'll contain a few megabytes right so it's a pretty good uh, little exercise to see how how tough these live code versions are then after we get through with the loop, we need to know how long it took, right? So I'm going to copy and paste because all I have to do is say put the long seconds minus s. Up here we had the seconds at the start. Down here the seconds at the finish minus the start. That will give us the result. That's all we need. So we put starting into the message box. We put the long seconds. We store that in S. We repeat a whole bunch of times and build up this uh, text with our calculations. So it's both calculating and it's building text. So it's doing quite a bit. And then we put the resulting amount of time elapsed that it took. All right, I'm gonna apply this thing I'm also going to copy it because I'm going to use the same code in our other versions of live code. And then I'm going to close this and click that button. This is live code 552 that we're testing here. So it says starting and it's taken a little while and there we're done. 3.845 seconds. I'm going to try that one more time. Starting. 3.859 seconds. Okay, so I'll also mention that um, I tried this before uh, doing the video and it got a little bit better time. That's because I have the uh, video recording software running too.
but it's it's not much difference. So 3.859 seconds for lap go 5.5. Okay, people. Time for fight night. So let's see how the other contenders do against version 5.5. So who else have we got here? Now here's live code 676. Eh, I could have used 6711. I think it'd be similar. I just had 676 installed, so I just used that. But uh, it's a good solid version. I do like it. Then I'm going to start from scratch because, you know, just to avoid any possibility of you know loading a legacy stack and that having any effect on a newer version so we're just gonna cut that completely out of the equation and I'll just make a new button and paste in the code no question about it we've got a you know the same code but it's in a in a very current stack for each version apply that sucker alright we saw how 5.5 did, let's see how 6.7 does. Click that button, it's starting out. 6.7, alright, 6.7's got 3.7. That's a little better. 5.5 was 3.8. Plus, okay, did it again, 3.7. Okay, so 6.7 live code, pretty good version there you know just a little bit better but every bit counts right it's doing good okay now let's try the newer versions here I've got live code 812 and let's see how 812 holds up on the same test so I'm gonna make that new stack again So this is what I do. I like to uh, really test things. You know, sometimes somebody will tell me, well, I heard that, you know, there was some performance issues, but they, they've been in fixing them or addressing them. And so we've got hearsay plus no specific details, right? I like to just test it. That way it's objective, not subjective. It's fact and not opinion. And in my book, that's much more valuable to just run a test and actually know what's the result. So I'm going to use the same code, but with a new stack, new button in live code 812 and see how this contender does. Starting off, okay, it's taking a little longer. It's taken a little longer. Ooh, I would say live code A12 is kind of losing here, kind of getting beat up. Whoops, whoops. I don't know, it might be a knockout here. Live code A12 still working on that code, still going through those repeat loops. It's tough. 5.5 five and 6.7 kind of beating up on him there. Still working on it. Maybe I should have put working dot 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 instead of starting dot dot dot. But anyway, you get the idea. Okay, still going through there. Another thing I like about just being objective, getting the test is sometimes people rationalize and uh, they think other people rationalize too. So if you come up with a criticism of, of anything, they'll think you don't have a reason. Now, actually, very likely you do have a reason, but that, that's why I like to just test things and, and show the proof, because then it's not opinion, and we just skip all that rationalization stuff. All right, so this one, 812 came up with 57. Ooh. Now, this is with a video capture program running, so that would have affected it a little bit, but it also affected the other versions right so 57 compared to what was it 3.7 3.8 less than 4 so we have a factor of 10 going on here 
uh, that's pretty significant. So lab code eight on this kind of test, doing a big old loop, and it's you know multiplying floating point numbers. Yeah, you know it's also adding a number in the loop at the same time. It's putting the calculation results. It's converting them back into text. It's appending a a big variable full of text. You know, that thing does get big. But it's taking it some significant time. So with just that same code, with live code five or six, five, five or six, seven to be more specific, you could get that thing done with almost a million repetitions. Right there. You could get that thing done in less than four seconds. And hey, this is on an older laptop. Um, it's got an AMD chip instead of an Intel. But it works good for this kind of thing. You know, this shows up the detail. If you're on a super machine, uh, you might add a few nines or zeros to your repeat loop there if you're, <laughs> if you're finishing too fast. But anyway, um, there you go. But on live code 8, wow, it's taken us almost a minute. So that is an extreme difference. Okay, now 812 is not the very latest. All right. Okay, maybe, maybe there's some difference in the very latest. So I did download the absolutely very latest. And uh, let me change the background again. <laughs> okay, now this thing is live code 9 DP4. Now, as of the time I'm making this video, Live code 9 DP4 is the very latest version. That's it. You know, there's nothing newer that's on the download page right now. So this is the very latest download for Live Code. And once again, I'm gonna drag in a button. Notice also on the newer versions of Live Code, the toolbox did change up a bit. Partly because of the widgets there uh, to make everything fit, but uh, yeah, it looks a little bit different the interface. Anyway, got my button. Paste in the same code in there. Applying it. Also wanted to mention with this code here that uh, see this is live code. It is you know similar to HyperTalk. It's an XTalk language. Uh, you'll notice I just go ahead and put the calculation each time after t. I never defined t. I never said hey you know let's define t. T is a variable that's going to hold text. I didn't have to do that. Uh, with live code, you just you just put your variables in there um, in your code. I like it. Very efficient. So I've got the code in there. I'm going to click the button. It's starting out. All right, we're nearing that four second mark. We're passing it. Um, okay, I think it lost to live code five five and six seven. Getting pounded. Getting pounded. Looks like uh, the winner of the fight night for this particular test is going to be one of the earlier versions of Live Code. Still going there, still working on that repeat loop. So, yeah, I like to do this. I like to test um, how Live Code is doing because uh, some people feel like that's criticizing Live Code or something. And I say, sometimes people get to rationalizing. You know, and, and just defending things emotionally. But the point is, when it comes to being a live code fan, I'm the biggest live code fan. You know, I'm very specialized into live code programming. Uh, that's where I put most of my effort in programming. I put it into live code. Biggest fan, um, and that's why if I see really good performance in a version like five five or six seven. 
I like that performance too. I'm a fan of it. And then if I see that performance dropping off later with another version, well, I notice it. You know, I'm a fan and I notice these things. And again, we come up here, it's almost a minute, 57 seconds compared to whatever we had, like 3.7. In fact, you know, let, let's do it again. Let's go back to uh, our winner was version 676. He had 3.7. Let's, let, let's do it again. Starting out, and he's done, 3.75. All right, so uh, comparing 3.7 to with the very latest LiveCo 9 DP4. 57 whoa man so uh, you know that's that's a big difference and uh, again this is on an AMD chip with a video recorder running but it's a big difference and uh, we also saw the difference in the download sizes uh, live code Lapco 5.5 was really skinny. That was the featherweight of this competition here. Mm, 676 weighed in, what was it, at uh, 124 megabytes. And then, of course, when you install them, they're bigger. See? But then when you come up to the very latest, for the Indie Edition there, and you're talking 300 megabytes. So not only has live code, the downloads and the installations got significantly bigger, which I mean you could understand, they're adding features, they're adding a lot of things under the hood, but it's getting several times bigger, and at the same time, then our results are getting many times slower. There we have it folks, the fight is over. The winner has been declared, life code 6.7. And uh, you can see that the newer versions, life code 8 and 9, of course this is still the early stages in 9, it's a DP version. But those newer versions, they were both bigger to download. I mean, we're talking sumo, not featherweight here. We're getting a little bigger on the download. And they were also slower running on this particular test with the calculations and appending all that text together compared to those earlier versions, 5.5 five and 6.7. So it's a fun match off. It's a fun fight night, but it also gives us some serious data uh, because I'm LiveCo's biggest fan. I'm always helping people. Newcomers get started with live code and intermediate users improving their code, getting that performance and optimization that they need. Because every app needs to be its very best, right? So we love making our apps and our code uh, faster running, better performing using less memory, getting more done quicker and with less resources, then everyone admires an app like that because it, it behaves well and it speaks well for its owner, right? So that's what I help people do a lot of the time. And uh, it does matter when you're trying to optimize your code up here, then the, the live code layer under it, it really helps for that layer to be optimized too then you're building good tight code on top of a good tight engine. So that's why I do this kind of testing. So I hope very soon we'll see a new contender, maybe a version of Live Code 9 or 10 that can come back into the ring and have a rematch and put the smack down on the late greats Live Code 5 and 6 and I hope we'll have some very good news on performance to talk about soon. While the size has increased. Alright. Well, 
that concludes the fight night and the big prize would have to go to let's hear it for live code 676 uh, it did an awesome job there 3.7 I'm actually surprised because uh, live code 55 is actually one of my favorite versions you know it is lean it is skinny small download um, I expected it to beat live code 6.7 for this calculation but nope live code 67 did have some optimization going on some good performance and uh, to my big surprise beat live code 5.5 and both of them whoop some booty you might say on the newer live code versions anyway there you go uh, that's the result of the live code fight night uh, just for fun there so anyway this is Curry from livecodeconsulting.com signing off as you can tell I've been using live code for a long time if you need help if you need training, if you're just getting into live code, or if you've been along around for a long time like myself, either way, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, I'm happy to help people out with whatever they need. Uh, really love training people on live code, improving efficiency, um, helping you get that performance that you're looking for. Contact me, and as always, Thanks for watching and enjoy coding.